Didi Wool. It's uh, just trying to speak my language. This is Jimo again, and today I'm here with another subtopic on the indices. Today we shall be looking at um, exponential or indicial equations. Um, just before I go, just um, a brief um, introduction of uh, the web page where you can access my ebook, which contains 99 questions and solutions on indices. Um, let's uh, let me quickly take you through a recap of previous videos, um, especially. Um, regarding the laws of indices, we treated these laws before. I just again want to take a quick revision of those laws. They are listed as you can see on the screen. Um, more of these laws, uh, this one we have about nine of them. Uh, please just um, uh, write them somewhere. We are just gonna refer to them as we solve more questions. Um, today, these nine laws from 2.1 to 2.9 are going to be applied to indicia equations. And I'm gonna start with uh, example one and um, this is uh, the example taken from SSE question. If 3 raised to power y equals 2, 4, 3, find the value of y. So we're going to solve it like this. Very simple question. It's one of the simplest in this subtopic. We're going to just rewrite we have 3 raised to power y equals just uh, factorize this one 243 is the same as 3 raised to power 5 so once it is factorized you discover that they are both in the same basis I mean both the left and the right hand sides are of the same base so you can equate their exponents and by doing that y equals to 5 and that is the solution of this question let's take a look at another example example 2 and this is the question solve for x if 3 times 9 a raised to power 1 plus x equals 27 raised to power minus x please take note this x is multiplication okay please take note of that it's also a question from the SSCE 1994 and uh, we are going to look at it this way so all I've done here is just to write the question as follows and the first thing that you need to take a look at here is look at the list of the factors for example look at this 3 you discover that 3 is a factor of 9 and 27 so it means you can express both 9 and 27 in terms of 3 so I have 3 which becomes 3 raised to power 1 this is just uh, for explanation times 9 becomes 3 raised to power 2 and to avoid confusion I just um, put 1 plus x into brackets and uh, equals 27 is 3 raised to power 3 and you still have this exponents minus x here so from our previous laws 
if you have multiplication you are gonna add the exponent and that is why here we have 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 into bracket 1 plus x and this still remain 3 raised to the power 3 and when we open the brackets we're just gonna multiply this exponent 3 by minus x and this gives us this um, value here so and uh, now that we have uh, both exponents being uh, the same three on both sides so all we're gonna do is um, equate the um, exponents so the exponent here is 1 plus 2 into bracket 1 plus x and the exponent here is minus 3x and this is what we have here so what is left now is just arithmetic just um, we have 1 plus 2 which is 3 2x minus 3 collect the like terms and your final answer will be x equals 3 over minus 5 example 3 is a bit um, more complex and confusing so find the value of t for which 64 over 27 equals 3 over 4 or raised to power t minus 1 also SSC question so let's look at the solution so um, what I've just done here is just um, to repeat the question and uh, what I'm gonna do is to factorize this but I, I must be very careful here um, my base will be 3 over 4 I mean I'm looking for ways of um, making 64 over 27 to become 3 over 4 anyhow we're gonna do that so um, rather than you finding the factor of this one in terms of 2 I'm using 4 because of what I have here so 64 is the same as 4 is to power 3 and 27 is the same as 3 is to power 3 now we have same exponents here so we can put 4 over 3 in brackets and everything raised to power 3 but uh, one strange thing here is um, this is 4 over 3 and this is 3 over 4 you shouldn't make mistake of equating them unfortunately if you do that if you are dealing with um, I mean objective questions you might find the answer there very trickish so you have to be careful so what we're gonna do here is um, swap as we used to do the denominator and the numerator and uh, what you are gonna have is uh, something like this if 3 goes up and 4 comes down this exponent will change from positive to negative now you can equate the exponent because you have 3 over 4 here and you have 3 over 4 here so equating the exponents I mean you're gonna have minus 3 equals t minus 1 and your answer will be t equals minus 2 so these are just um, all about exponential equation not too complex all you need to do is just understand them so these are some of uh, exercises for you to to do so there are questions and there are answers there so all the questions and solution that you have here I've been taking from my ebook score I mean student score booster in indices and uh, you can visit this website and uh, find out 
more about this book you are going to get a lot of other questions and solutions there so our next class will be on indices questions that involves simultaneous exponential equations I want to advise you before then to quickly revise whatever you have learned in simultaneous equation.